Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikan and today's video we're gonna see how we can use summary statistics in Java stream to find out uh, the minimum, maximum and summation and average of, uh, of a list of numbers or we can say uh, for example we have list of employees and we want to find their uh, find their salary like maximum salary and minimum salary and summation of all the salary and find the average of uh, average of the salary of all those employees and right so uh, we'll see how we can in a single pass we can find all those things right so let's see so for that one already i have uh, already i have created a class if you'll see here summary statistics example and here uh, if you'll see already i have created a main method inside that main method i have some snippet of code like if you'll see employee class already i have created so it's a simple class where i have uh, three to four attributes like name age salary and department and here i have a parameterized constructor and getter status okay so then what i have done here i have created uh, around uh, eight objects eight to nine objects and with different uh, uh, different values like uh, name a salary and department okay so now what i want so all these employees all these employees i am adding into one list so ideally uh, this is uh, for demonstrated purpose i have given this list intentionally i have created some object and adding into this uh, list but while you are doing uh, while you are in real time project you will get these objects from database or you will get this object from uh, if you will call some uh, third party api from those api you will get these objects or from database we will get uh, this list of objects okay so once we have received these objects now what i want so all this all these employees whatever those number of employees are there i want to find sum of the salary so all the salary the summation of all the salary i want to find average i want to find highest salary what is the highest salary among employees what is the minimum salary among employees okay so uh, there is a way that how we can find that one. let me show you that uh, before proceeding to summary statistics so employee list dot stream then what we need to do map to integer okay this is a mapping function where what we are doing we are converting this employee to salary so we are getting a list of salary okay so for that one emp and from this emp what we'll get get salary okay so this map to integer we are converting uh, from this employee to a salary we are returning this salary then what we need to do if you will if if you want to find uh, maximum salary then max okay but in this way for example first i want max and then second i want minimum here uh, here would be mean and I want uh, average. So then again, let me copy this, this one, and let's put it here. And I, uh, here, what I need to do? Average. Okay. So again, I need to. Uh, so I will. I will do like this every time. Whatever I want, mean, max, average, sum. Okay. So I need to process this list and convert into stream. Then I have to integer. Then all these things I want to do. But there is a uh, more simpler way that we can achieve here. So here what we need to do. Let me remove this thing and instead of max dot summary statistics. Okay. So this summary statistics uh, will do call this method and it will return a integer. Sorry. <coughs> int summary statistics okay it will return a object and some statistics let me do st okay so in this object we'll get all these things so 
some average minimum maximum everything you will get so if you will see here system dot out dot print ln and let me put some plus st dot the c get some so we can have one time we'll get this summary statistics object into the summary statistics then let me put average here avz and st dot here it should be get average okay so same way uh let's uh, let, let's find uh, minimum and maximum let me copy paste that one and here mean and again here st dot uh, get minimum okay so let me copy again st dot get max okay cool so now let's run this one what it is saying okay so lambda can be replaced with method reference here yeah, this is very good uh, suggestion provided by this IntelliJ idea so let's do this one okay so this is uh, this is replaced with method reference okay so now let's run this one and we're gonna see how uh, whether we are getting uh, those outputs or not okay so there is this is very easy and convenient way that we can find uh, these uh, summation average minimum and maximum right so this is a common interview question as well uh, in this current days so uh, you can practice this one and you can leverage this one uh, in your day-to-day uh, uh, -day project as well okay so it's building uh, let's see we'll see uh, some okay cool so if you'll see the sum is uh, something average we find and minimum is 28 uh, thousand and max sorry this is maximum right this is maximum so minimum is uh, 28 thousand maximum is 90 thousand so if you'll see here uh, the minimum is 30 minimum is 20 minimum is 28000 and maximum is 90000 right so hope you got a crystal clear idea that how we can use summary statistics to find out all these uh, statistics like uh, some uh, some average and mean and max right so thank you for watching guys and please have some uh, comment in the comment section and if you want any other videos let me know uh, in the comment section and i will uh, uh, definitely upload those videos as well right so if you'll see this is my channel and a lot of uh, other videos are there j unit spring boot crud, app uh, crud application and integration test uh, microservices aem git docker everything is there right so uh, you can uh, go through these things and uh, you can subscribe my channel as well right so yeah Thank you guys. Have a nice day.